just wanted to show you how to get into the Flipgrid discussion so you can post your own video discussion and leave comments for other students. So in Blackboard, you'll see, especially the first week, uh, there will be the flip code for you that will take you directly to the course, or you can simply select the Flipgrid icon here, the logo, and that will take you to the actual discussion board forum. So you can really do either one, click on either one. For the purpose of this, I'm gonna show you using the flip code. So you select here, and it's gonna ask you to log in once you get to the actual page itself. So you can join with Google or join with Microsoft. For me, I choose the join with Google because Ashland is a Google school, Google University. And then you just simply select your Ashland account. That will log you in. And now you'll be in the discussion forum itself. Notice this one took me to the course introduction discussion forum. When you come in, you can see record a response option here. You can also record a response here. And you can see all the other posts from people that are in your class. So it's pretty nice, pretty simple. You log in and you can select other people's topics to listen to what they have to say. Hi, Kristen. Um, I'm just responding to... And then to add a comment, you just simply select the add a comment option and it will come up for you. And that will give you the option to do that. And then you'll see, for instance, we'll click on Jackie here. You'll see Hi, she has... My name is Jackie um, and I live in Columbus. She has three different comments. Your comments will appear like that. As for your actual comment, as I said, your video, you just simply select record a response or right here. And that will take you to this menu and you can record your own video by selecting this option right here. You can add effects to it. You can put in like, for instance, emojis or draw something on here or put in a text box if you would like to do different filters, for instance. You can also upload videos that you have maybe already recorded. You can do just audio and or taking off audio, I'm sorry, uh, and then recording of the screen itself. Last thing I want to make sure you recognize or pay attention to, please, is here's the discussion board rubric. If you click on that, that will be accessible for you in all of the discussion boards. And that will just kind of go through here and show you uh, what the expectations are as well for discussion boards. The big thing I'm looking for is make sure you spread your posts out during the course of the week. Don't just go in and do them all in one day uh, at one time. Really try to spread it out over to at least two, but preferably three days if you want to get the four points there. And you can go through here and read the other uh, requirements for the discussion boards itself. But I really want you to engage with your peers, talk to them, give them actual feedback about things that they're doing in class or discussions, if it's about readings, for instance, but really try to make usage and incorporate what you're learning into the class into the discussion. And, and I think it'll, you'll find that's very, very valuable. So again, uh, Flipgrid, it's a fantastic opportunity for you to engage with your peers and myself and for me to do the same with you. And hopefully you find it to be enjoyable.